Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard on this partly cloudy, mostly overcast day. It's still warm as can be. And we are inside the Hootie Hoop House where, yes, we're going to start some more seeds. Because, yeah, a seed starting is important. Today, we're going to start passion flower seeds. Now, they can be notorious to germinate. I have soaked these for uh, about 48 hours now. Usually, it's done about 24. Some people say to scarf them before you soak them. I haven't had to before. So, let's get started planting some passion flower seeds. Now, these are the wild passion flowers that grow here in the south. Now, these are not the fancy ones that you can get from South America and so on. These are native ones. Now, what I'm going to do is drain out as much of the water as I can without losing any seeds. I have my plant tag already made. I'm going to pour them out onto some paper towels so I can catch them without losing them. And there's always going to be one little obstinate one. Now, you want to use the dark seeds, not the white seeds. And especially want to use the ones that have sank to the bottom of your jar that you soak the seeds in. Now, since I have so many, and plus the fact that they are notoriously hard to germinate, I'm going to start two in each cell. Now, I have my trusty chopstick, and I have it marked for a quarter of an inch depth. And that's how deep the seeds need to go. Just a quarter of an inch. And I'm using rich seed starting mix with a little extra soil added to it just to give them a good healthy start like I said I'm doing two per cell it might end up being more who knows we shall see and you want your soil already moistened that way you don't disturb the seeds once you get them in there and if you see any things wanting to start to come up pull them out But yeah, these are beautiful. They are very medicinal. And they will need, once they get big enough, and I'll bring you back when it's time to transplant them. And once they ger start germinating, I'll bring you back for a short on that one. But growing passion flower vines are, is not hard. Once you have the plant, but you will need a trellis or, or a fence or something for them to grow on because they can get huge, especially when they're in good, healthy soil. And of course, I'll have more information in the description box below the video on starting the passion flower seeds. And all you're going to do is just drop them in the holes
And yes, these are ones that I harvested last year. Well, what am I doing? I didn't put no... Getting ahead of myself. <coughs> Getting ahead of myself, y'all. Hold on a minute, it's hot in here and I'm going to get me something to drink. Okay, we're going to try this again. Because it is so hot in the hoop house. And passion flower seeds need warmth and a lot of humidity. And believe me, there's plenty of humidity in the hooty hoop house. You just want to take your black seeds, which are the ripe ones, and that's R-I-P-E, and put them in and cover them up. Now, there's still no guarantee, even though they've been soaked that they're going to come up but knowing my luck they will and that's okay I have places for them to grow and if need be I can always sell some plants of course these were wild foraged by me uh last year and I made tincture and tea with the, the flowers and the stems and the leaves very medicinal plant and I'll go into more depth about the medicinal benefits once they germinate and I plant them where they're supposed to go which is going to be a, a little while for them to grow big enough to transplant out but they grow fast they grow really fast and the fatter your seed you know that that seed Is, has was fertilized and passion flower vines are so beautiful and especially the flowers and what better day than to plant passion flower seeds than on Easter And I'm going to keep on going. Getting them in the soil. Now, any that have the membrane on it, you want to take the membrane off of it before you plant them. I said, make sure they get in the soil real good. I always find peace planting seeds. Looking forward to them coming up. I 
Just remember, you've got to soak them for at least 24 hours. I got so busy yesterday, I didn't get to do them, get to plant them on time, but that's okay. Just make sure they get down into that little hole. Sometimes you just have to encourage them to go into the hole. Now, of course, it can take a week or two, maybe longer for them to germinate. Just be positive and patient. And don't you worry. They can, once they're big enough to separate, if they all come up, they're planting them like this won't hurt them a bit. You can separate them very easily and very gently. See, I have some extras, so I'm going to go down the side. Now, I'm used, I was thankfully trained how to separate them. So, if you don't feel comfortable planting multiple seeds in a cell, you can always just do one seed per cell. Like I said, there's no guarantee all of these are going to germinate. You never know about seeds. You never know about seeds, but you stay positive anyway. I'm hoping to get a cattle panel to trellis these babies up on. Like I said, you want your planting medium to be fully soaked so that they get a good start. Now, Another reason why passion flower, especially the wild ones, can be notorious, the wild passion flower seeds can be notorious for germinating, is the mush that's around them and on the seed coat has germination inhibitor, natural inhibitor in it. So, that's why a lot of times people have trouble germinating them. A lot of times the soaking in the water gets rid of that. Hence why I poured the water off and then use it. To moisten 
and so on more. Now, one thing you want to make sure that you do not let the soil dry out. Because that can kill your little seeds. It's so peaceful to plant seeds and wait for the little babies to grow. And I said you want to fill the seeds and make sure that they're good and plump. If they're flat, they're not any good. Okay, that's all I'm going to plant in this cell tray. Now, the rest of these on here, a lot of that's dirt too, but a lot of it, these I'm going to put, since a lot of them are white, they might not be fully uh, viable. I'm going to put these in a little pot. Just randomly put them in there. And see if these will germinate. But I'm not going to do them in a cell tray. Because there's a good chance most of these won't germinate. Simple, easy, and yes, you can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. Have the soil and especially the seeds. Now... If you don't have the seed trays, that's fine. You can start them in little pots, uh, like the four inch to six inch pots. You can start the seeds in those, and once they, you know, all get germinated up and get true leaves on them, then you can separate them out. But I'd wait till they got at least three inches a piece tall. Before you try to germin, uh, not germinate them, good grief, separate them. It's hot in here, y'all. I hope this video encourages you to also try your hand at growing the beautiful passion flower vine. Because the flowers and the vines are beautiful and extremely medicinal as well. And yes, I already do have a passion flower uh, tincture video. You just have to go with the tincture playlist. Everyone, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. May you each stay safe and sound in this crazy world because it's getting crazier. Continue to stock up your pantries with food that will sustain and nourish you. Medicinals that will heal you protection of all kinds and as well as the bare essentials to survive on everyone take care may you each be blessed hoot hoot and i'll see you soon